Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, uh, showing off a new game. Well, kind of a new game. The Room Old Sins, the fourth game in the Room series, which in my opinion is like some of the best puzzle games you can get on mobile. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this video quickly because it is currently on sale, um, Black Friday sale, on the Google Play Store. I'm hoping there's similar sales for the Apple side, um, but I got this for the cheap, and if it's as good as the other games, it uh, should not be missed. So let's start a new game and see what's up with the old sins. searched every room in the house but this attic 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 attica 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 I won't get much further in the dark and of course you have to go through the tutorial but it's a good thing we got this big floodlight here and I'm going to guess it's not as simple. Ooh, flip the switch. I think it's broken. I'll need a screwdriver for my case. Alright, so pinch the zoom out. I'm going to guess that this is the case. Yep. Come on. Here's my screwdriver. My notebook holds all the information I was given for this assignment. A screwdriver. Double tap the notebook. Such a profile. Edward Lockhart. Lock, Lockwood. Me, I can't speak. Age 32, height 176 centimeters. Uh, trained as a mechanical engineer. Dabbled in chemistry. Marriage to Abigail Wildgrave. Raised status. Led to assistant position at the Royal Institute. The position last one year. Dismissal occurred due to unspecified misconduct. Ooh, Edward, don't misconduct. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna read through everything. Find the trail. Follow it to the source. Oh. What? I guess... Maybe as I go through the game, it'll be filled out on its own, but but I want to see... Can I see the pictures? Apparently not. Okay. And zoom out. Huh. Spooky. Spooky. What was that? I need a better look. Uh, drag the screwdriver, yep. So even then, it doesn't do the stuff for you, like you can use the item, but you still have to like manually use the item on. Complete the circuit. You do that with one hand, maybe. Nope. 
Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky with two fingers. But we got it. <gasps> Spooky. A dollhouse. Something isn't right. Investigate the dollhouse. So here's where like the main puzzle boxes come into play here. So can we double tap? Oh. So obviously something's missing here. So as we investigate and get more pieces, we can fill out and open up the puzzle box as intended. Uh, do I need to go to the front gate? Oh. surface looks unusual. I need something else from my case. Pinch the zoom out. Okay. So we'll zoom out again. Go to the case. Everyone has secrets. Mine just have to be in, hidden inside this box. So of course I have to unlock the box in order to get whatever I need for the house. eyepiece. The eyepiece from earlier games was used for instances I like, think like we're about to uh, do here. I'll need to open th this for it to be of any use. Uh, okay, so tap that. Eyepiece. Of course as you get items you can roll it around. Uh, Yep, there we go. All right, tap back so the eyepiece is now opened. Tap to wear the eyepiece. Break the seal, find the hole. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Um, yeah, so like I said, in earlier games it sort of did the same thing. Uh, late in the first game I think you got the eyepiece and it made for some interesting puzzles and just sort of carried on ever since. Uh, tap the icon again to remove the eyepiece. There we go. I should use the eyepiece to examine the dollhouse. Okay. So we'll go back to the dollhouse. Go back to the front door. And there it is. So I think what it wants us to do is sort of line up the shadows with what is about in the house. Uh, All right, just line up those pieces. Tap the symbol to enter the room. Uh, okay. So I'm in the dollhouse. Let's look at this book. Uh, yep. this page I guess. You're unloading apparatus by cart load and I see my husband transform into a YI child. He hasn't been this animated since he left the Royal Institute. The men work in silence and stand awkwardly in my presence, heads down, silent. 
will not hold my gaze. They look so desperate. I move aside, stay out of their way. Why are certain men so threatened by women of intelligence? They will warn. They will warm to me as they come to know me, I am sure. The main thing is that Edward is working again. Good old Edward. It seems the books in the dollhouse hold more than their covers suggest. I suspect they will be the key to uncovering what happened here. Alright, so I'm guessing we have to solve this next puzzle box. Hints can be saved from the munch. And I try to use, try not to use hints as much as possible. Much like anything, you just sort of have to see what you need to do. No, nope, that dial on the bottom doesn't do anything. Not yet, anyway. So let's move out. Sure, something has to be placed in there, which is fine. The same thing on this side. Yep. Okay, so everything down here on the bottom where we have. Yep, there we go. A brass mechanical coin. So I'm going to guess the brass mechanical coin goes somewhere on here. Almost fits, but something isn't right. I should take a closer look. That means open this up, dummy. That'll work. Oh, gee, look. I think this is something we use this on. Hmm. I see. Aha! Family crest. It seems to look like a crest that would fit on the top of the dollhouse that I saw earlier. This looks like it belongs on the dollhouse. Well, gee. <laughs> Aren't we a smarty? Exit the room. We'll exit the room. There, we don't need. Yeah, we don't need to do anything there. We just need to plunk. The seal, the null must be, must lie beyond. Uh, okay. I just touched and held that until it did something. More stuff to play with. All right. Let's go to this guy first. It looks like they just need to line up. Silver mechanical coin. Oh. So it looks like we'll take this into the room again. The room. Can I not? Oh. Need that to go in. And by that I mean the eyepiece. 
Uh, let's go back to the puzzle box here. We're going to the other side. Link this in. And then the other side opens up. All right. Do that and do that. And now we need to line up the pieces one more time. Got it. An ornate metal panel. Interesting. Does it go on here? Do I have to press both at the same time? I do. Okay. Yeah, sort of the same thing here. those first. Do those next. up and we have a strange object okay uh oh inkly tentacles usually when it kicks us out of an area that area is completed uh, okay it's not done yet telling me stuff Foyer complete. I have found the seal my employers spoke of. It is weakened, but far from broken. I am clearly on the path of finding the null this element. Cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting game. It sort of continues on with the room story, but still interesting nonetheless, and it sort of keeps you on your toes, so I'll continue to play, keep playing it as I did every other game, just to sort of see how uh, how cool this one gets, because, like I said, the uh, the other games were quite quite fun as far as their puzzle elements and, and sort of trying to think alongside like, 3D objects and how things sort of fit together. Uh, so it seems to just continue that. Cool, give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think if you want me to sort of continue playing this or showcase any of the other earlier room games. Uh, I tend to like going back to them every now and again because they are so good. Anyway, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.
You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Yeah! yeah.